Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to Moscow. Now I think I'm actually more like in the Moscow region, quite a fair distance from the centre of Moscow today. And I've come across a very interesting supermarket that I thought I'd take everybody for a walk around. It's right behind me, so let's go and head on in there, shall we? The supermarket that we're going to go into is called Chizhik and the name of the store derives from the little bird right there on the logo. It's a very tiny bird and Chizhik is very well known in Russia as a hard discount supermarket, meaning that they've got lots of low prices and lots of good deals. Now the place where I am here is really not somewhere where you'd think there'd be a supermarket and especially not a Chizhik. This is actually a homewares center here and all of these businesses that are all the way down both sides of this road here are all different stores that sell things for remodeling your house, your garden, all sorts of things like for tools, anything to remodel your house, maybe you want tiles, carpet, wood, a new kitchen and that's what this place is right here. Now also there is a new development just behind this building where there's some apartments. You can just see one light on the upper level there. Now these buildings have just been finished, so there'll be very few people living there, if anybody. So it's just very interesting how they've squeezed this supermarket into this location. In where we are right here, there's literally no other housing around. There is a fairly big highway where all the cars are coming from right here. And then the other side of the highway is all forest. And that's it. Uh, I think it might be an interesting video just to see what you can get in a hard discount supermarket. And I'm going to call this a typical Russian supermarket because it really is. There is hundreds if not thousands of these Chizhiks in Russia and they're looking to expand in a huge way all throughout Russia and the idea is to find these smaller locations where they've got you know not as big a footprint as a full-size supermarket and they can still get everything in there for sale and you know make them successful but I wonder what it's like inside first thing that we notice here is the opening hours seven days a week 9 a.m. till 9 p.m. So plenty of trading hours and that's all they're telling us, just no smoking, but that's normal in most shops. Perhaps not really important for the video itself, but the central heating is on. It's a little bit cold outside. It's nice and warm in here. They've got all of their weekly specials. They do have a little bit of variety things as well, a little bit more than just food. And the one thing that's a little bit interesting here is the doors that they've got. They've got two doors one to enter which is what we're going to go through and the exits separated so we're going to go through this door right here and i'm going to film this right from walking in so you can understand the concept of the store because it's got a little bit of a different layout to maybe what you're used to i'd compare this personally with an aldi store or lidl but maybe it's not quite like that but you'll see in a minute when I point out a few things, the similarities between them. So what they've got is they've got this one-way walk system. So when you come in the store, you're basically forced to follow the walkway down and around to get back to the exit. And then they've got this fence here, which stops people from crossing over and then coming back in. And then the, the basket system here, they just push them underneath the gap right here, like these ladies are gonna do and you've just got these plastic baskets. So no big trolleys because it's not necessary. These small baskets are perfectly fine. And then we'll eventually get around to the registers on the other side. So the idea is that you walk on in, then you follow the route of the store, and then come out at the exit and then leave. It doesn't cause any congestion. There's a few promotions here. Now the one thing with Chizik, which is different from every other supermarket, is they have all the time pricing. So they will promote certain items which are weekly 
or fortnightly as a product that's for sale. They also do have some seasonal things, not too much, but everything otherwise is all the time available and then all the time pricing. So there's no discounted item this week and not next week. And then the other thing that Chizik do is most products across all the brands of the store, they have only two choices. So if we have a look here, for instance, at chips, they've got Lay's chips, which is a recognized brand. And then they've got Delicados, which is their in-house brand. So Chizik has a lot of in-house brands that are produced uh, for their own stores by manufacturers here in Russia. And then there's some recognized brands like you'll see here on some of the treats. These are quite well known, Choco Pie. And then there's the product next to it, maybe not as recognizable. And they do have quite a lot of things that we already know as Russians who come shopping. And then there's gonna be a discounted version of a product. The same here with coffee. There's one brand or the other and the price varies. Now I'm not gonna really point out pricing too much. You could of course pause the video or stop it at a certain point if you're wanting to reference the price. Uh, I think it's roughly 93 rubles to $1 today. Uh, so if you look at the bar of Alpine Gold, 49 rubles. So we're just about 50 cents for a bar of Alpine Gold. There's actually a good example here of Nutella. And then there's Choco Hut, which is kind of the other brand that's competing with Nutella. If you want the original product or the in-house brand, and then obviously there's a savings to be had there. And walking on a little bit further, they've got a bread section. This will all be packaged bread that's brought in. The one thing that Chizik does also is they don't overstock the stores. So they only order smaller quantities for one or two days. And then the stock will be rotated as new products come in, the older products sell. They also don't have the full, full line of every product because of the size of the store. You know, you only need four or five choices of bread, fruit and vegetables, all the classic things right here. There's a little bit of baby food. There's some uh, oats right there as well. And we come around to the dairy section. So yogurts. Again, you'll see one product is a brand name and then one will be an off brand, which are produced in Russia, generally even in the same factories, which makes it interesting. And then Chizik has them made under license for them for in-store use. The box of eggs here. This is a pack of 10, 88 rubles. So we're definitely under $1 for a box of eggs. You can see also the milk choices. So there's just a couple of choices of everything. So it's a lot simpler shopping as well. You don't come in here and get overwhelmed with uh, maybe seven or ten different choices of something. It's just one or the other. And that's simple. You just choose what you want. Do you want the house brand or do you want the uh, branded product like you know? The other thing too as well, which is what Aldi does and Lidl does, is the packaging of the things are all designed to fit on the shelves so the staff can stock the shop a lot easier. So they actually tell the manufacturers the size of the shelf and they have everything packaged, what's called shelf ready. So they just have to cut the top of the box off or the side of the box and it fits in the store beautifully and on the shelf as you see it. And there's very little for the staff to do to actually display products because everything's fitting right on the shelf. You can see here flour, salt, vinegar, and there's a refrigerated section with a few products. Interestingly, they've got Miratok here, which is a very well-known brand of meat in Russia. And there's the finishing sauces and sachets that you can marinate your meats into. So there's plenty 
of choices of food across all categories, there's just less variety of brand names to choose from. Even with the cold weather outside, they've got an ice cream fridge and the ice creams are uh, looking actually really good. You know that thing in your head where you quite often don't feel like an ice cream and then there's a random time of the day or week where you really want one and you'll see here the prices, 35 rubles, highest one is 69 rubles so maybe 40 cents or 70 cents for an ice cream, really not expensive at all. And there's some cheeses here and uh, pickled vegetables, I'm going to do salads and there's a little bit of packaged seafood and then different hams and sausages. So again, I'll point this out a few times, but there is the brand of sausage that we may all know from all the supermarkets in Russia, all of the typical supermarkets. And then there'll be another brand, which will be a Chizik in-house brand. So you can take the choice. There's really not big differences if you compare one price over the other. But if you're trying to shop on a budget, of course, you know, it might factor into what your end bill would be. You can see here with the personal care products, there's no need to take it out of the boxes, put it neatly on the shelves. Everything is in these tear open packages. So it's very easy to put them out and when the stock comes in, they can refill them very easily and quickly. And then also it minimizes the amount of staff that need to work here because there isn't the need for a person constantly in the shop to refill things. See here with tomato sauce, how similar the in-house brand looks to the Heinz brand. But the in-house one is less than half price, even for the equivalent size. There's a little bit of frozen products. Medium sized pizza for 130 rubles. So $1.50 for a pizza. I think if we were to walk around the whole store and look very carefully at the prices, we'd find a lot of the stuff under 100 rubles or under one dollar US or one euro, depending on where you live. And you could easily shop by keeping your value of an item under a dollar, which, you know, that doesn't go for everything in the shop, but it's definitely possible. Here is an interesting one with the cat food, which I've actually seen this before. I come to Chizik and shop myself. So Whiskers is the brand name that we would know. And then the in-house version, what's that? Seven rubles difference is called Watson. And it's interesting too that they've got a, a English name for the product. It's not a Russian branded cat food. In Russia, a lot of people put trust in a lot of the Western brands and a lot of the imported brands. Although that cat food's actually made in Russia at a Russian factory. This is the variety section that I was talking about and how the shop looks very similar to what an Aldi would look like or a Lidl, depending on where you live. I think a lot of people have Aldi in different countries now. And this area right here in the middle is seasonal products. So they'll have them maybe for a few weeks or a month then they'll change them out to something completely different. And that's where you see the different prices here on the tag. So at some point they get marked down then they won't get replenished and then the next product will come in and fill the gap. You can see here the different drinks, like kind of past the sodas. They have, again, a lot of the uh, in-house brands. I'm gonna mention that a lot because it's quite relevant with this store in terms of how they get the pricing. And you can get yourself a can of beer here for less than 60 cents or 50 cents, 50 rubles. And there's all the potato chips back there. And we can even get Corona beer. No matter what anybody tells you about all the brands that have left. You'll see here Budweiser and then Corona. So a bottle of Corona for 129 rubles. So a dollar 30, let's call that. Is a dollar thirty the price for a Corona where you live in the world? I want people to comment and let me know 
Do they have prices this low? I don't think it's probably possible. We can see on the opposite side here, the other variety products. Oops. And what they have seasonally, some frying pans, buckets, and then they've got here some nice treats and pastries. Some tea biscuits right there. So there's always a big emphasis on sweets and treats in supermarkets. Here is honey cake. This is very nice. If you've not had that before, and maybe you live somewhere where they've got Russian products in a store, have some honey cake and you won't be disappointed. It's the cleaning products. Again, they've got the in-house brand and then the store brand. And again, as we look at some of the pricing, you know, under a dollar, of course, some things are a little bit higher, but very typically, that 100 ruble price barrier factors in a lot. Even the big five liter bottle of water here for 49 rubles. So there's plenty of good deals to be had. I think a lot of people by now know Chizik in Russia very well. They are everywhere in Russia, no matter the Far East, over here in the west of, western part of Russia where I am in Moscow. And they're opening in obscure places as well, not necessarily the mainstream shopping center or business center. And where we are here is literally a home remodeling area outside. You saw that there is little to no housing nearby. But people find these places to come shopping. A lot of people would turn off the highway and come here and grab their shopping. And there's a couple of registers there for paying. There's a little bit of candy and sweets. Of course, we all know very well Snickers, uh, Twix, M&Ms. So all the things that everybody keeps telling me has left Russia, we can absolutely buy them in the store. And they're more than available. Some long life milk, 64 rubles. And I think we've just about covered the whole shop. There's a little bit of canned food here, peas and corn, and then some different tunas and canned meats. So you'll see here again, this packaging is all shelf ready. So they just slide the tray on there, slice it open, and that's it. There's no more putting things neat and tidy. The store almost is tidy and clean because of how simple the restocking of the shop is. You know, there's no need for it to look messy at any time. And I think I've hit the five minutes where everyone's going through the register at the same time. Please tell me where you live when you go shopping. You walk around the aisles, you do your shopping, and then the whole store converges at the register at the same time, exactly like you see here. As I walk on out of Chizik, I just want to thank the ladies in the store here. They were super nice. Actually, now I'm walking out of the store it's already dark. I've been actually chatting to the staff for a little while. They were very curious about me making a video. I think it's a little bit dark out of here now. Thanks for watching everybody. Let me know, do you have stores like this where you live? This hard discount store, that's what they call them here in Russia. But you could compare it to Aldi or Lidl, depending on where you live in the world. I'm trying to find my way out of here now. Let me know, do you have a shop like this? Is it as neat and tidy as that store? The store was really nice. And especially for a discount store, you know, some of them you go to, like in Australia, the boxes are everywhere, there's uh, open cartons, and they don't keep that kind of upkeep to how a shop should look. I think that all comes down to the ladies that work in that store and their energy, you know, that was very nice. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, I think that's the easiest way to you know, acknowledge that the video was good and something interesting. It's a little bit dark now here. Uh, I do post a lot of stuff on Telegram. If you'd like to follow me there on Telegram, there's a link to that uh, channel right there. 
there is now 1,600 people in the group. And it's really interesting, a lot of things that other people post, not just me. If you'd like to watch an older video about Chizik, uh, or maybe about other supermarkets in Russia, there's a video coming up right now. You can click that to watch an older video on the channel. Hope you find that interesting. And I'm off on another adventure. Bye, everybody.